What is the best DevOps roadmap to start the DevOps career in an effective way which enable you to start the career, develop and upscale in the future in the best way? Well, DevOps career is one of the specialization that is not very easy to start by a self-learning. And this is maybe because DevOps required many skills in several disciplines as we are going to see together. These are the DevOps disciplines. Let's take each one of them and see their practices, knowledge, and the skills which are required. We will find out that each discipline required several skills and knowledge which you must learn and understand very well. If we start looking at the tools, platforms, and technology for DevOps in each discipline, we will find out numerous numbers of them that you need to know and learn how to use them very well. And if you just take a single tool, you will find that you need a long time to learn and know how to use it properly. And this brings us to the main question. How do I learn all of that and from where to start? To answer your questions, let's understand how DevOps is different from other specializations. We call it the T-shaped skills, which means you have many skills in several disciplines and technologies. To understand this more, let's look at what are the required skills for junior DevOps engineer. We will find out that there are many skills required in several disciplines, but relatively with low depth of knowledge, except the build and release, which require a little bit more. If we look at the senior DevOps engineer, we will find out that what happened here is just increasing in the depth of the knowledge in each discipline. And if we look at the DevOps architect, we will find out that the depth of the knowledge is getting increased more and more. And if we reach out to the principal DevOps engineer, we will find out that the depth keeps increasing. And this explains a very important point here. As more as you get more experience in the field, you will be required to increase your depth of knowledge in all disciplines. And this unlike other specialization, which called I-shaped skills, which required a very deep knowledge in one or a few disciplines. For example, if we look at the SRE or Site Reliability Engineer, we will find out that the main focus skills will be on monitoring, discipline, and a little bit in the configuration. If we look at another example like Scrum Master or Project Manager, we will find out that the main focus skills will be on planning and management disciplines. And the same for the QA or the testing. The main focus skills will be on testing and verification disciplines. This is why if we look at how to start your career as a DevOps engineer, you have to understand you need to follow the T-shaped strategy and methodology in your studying and learning journey. And then you will be able to understand and work with all these tools and platforms. This is why it is better to start with well-defined guidance from an expert who can guide you to the right direction and the best effective way. This is to utilize your time and accelerate your career development and learning journey. So what is the best DevOps roadmap? As we understand now that DevOps is required T-shaped skills, which require many skills in several disciplines with different level of depth. So I developed the DevOps roadmap in the following way, which is that you have to learn all these disciplines in a way which is enough to start the career but not too much, which is not required in the beginning. And this will utilize your time and your learning journey so that you will put your effort in the high priority skills first that are required to start the career. And based on that idea, I designed and developed my course, which I called Advanced Introduction to DevOps 30 Hours, which works as a solid foundation for your DevOps career. The course consists of 19 modules and 63 lessons with 83 demos and labs, which will help you deeply understand and learn all the cross disciplines in the best utilization way for your time to start your career as a DevOps engineer and set the solid foundation you need to build and upskill later in the best way. 
so that you can quickly and effectively learn any tools or platforms when needed. After that, there will be specialization courses in each discipline, which focus on increasing the depth of your knowledge in each discipline to help you accelerate your learning journey in the career. So we will have courses in plan, code, build, test, package, release, configuration, and monitor. Of course, you don't have to learn from my courses. You can do self-learning or even use another material, but you have to follow the same strategy and methodology if you would like to get the best result. So the course and the future courses has two editions. The community edition, which is free of a charge and you can learn everything for free and the enterprise edition which is a paid course and the main difference between the community edition and the enterprise is the speed of delivery and the main direct support and the time for the support you can learn more information about that on the github repo for the course